power angle equation of the alternator. In this particular session, we will derive the, the power angle equation for non-salient as well as salient pole type of generator. First, I will consider non-salient pole type of machine or it is also called as cylindrical rotor type of single muscle generator. Then we know that we are representing the alternator in the cylindrical form with a source of voltage and armature resistance and single bus reactance. Then we are taking the terminal voltage as a reference therefore I am representing that as e an angle of 0 degree and the generated voltage I am representing e an angle of delta degree that is the value of e making an angle of delta with respect to reference or the voltage v. Once we draw the, the vector diagram for this particular the model we will come to know what you mean by this angle delta. It is plays a very important role in our power angle equation as well as in the stability studies of the, the power system. The same thing I am listing out here that is E is the internal voltage whereas the V is the terminal voltage and the synchronous impedance of the machine is RA and XS. There is a combination of RA and XS, RA plus JXS. Delta that is the angle delta this angle is called as the load angle or sometimes it is called as the uh, torque angle where phi is the power factor angle that is it is depend upon what type of load we are connecting across the terminals of the alternator. Therefore V is uh, taken as a reference therefore I am representing this as V an angle of 0 degree and E is equal to E an angle of delta and of course the synchronous impedance is at an angle of phi. Look into this the vector diagram. I am taking the voltage as a reference because we are angle of 0 degree. Here for drawing this I am taking the lagging power factor load so that the current I lags the voltage by an angle of phi. To get the value of E I have to add IRA drop and IX drop to the V so that I am adding here IRA that is parallel to I. Then IAX which is perpendicular to I A or it is a parallel to IRA so that it is sum of V plus IRA plus IXS therefore what I am getting is the value E that is a generated voltage E. Therefore if you are now completing this impedance triangle what I am getting is IHS. Now we know that there is a phase displacement between E and V that is this angle is called as the load angle therefore it is represented as a delta therefore it is V an angle of 0 degree whereas this is E an angle of delta that is this is angle of the delta. Okay, This is how we have to represent the terminal voltage, generated voltage and the synchronous impedance of a machine. With this just we will derive the equation. Now we know that in the case of AC power that is the power is given by it is a product of voltage current and the power factor that is Vi cos phi. Where in this case V is the terminal voltage, I is the armature current cos phi is the power factor of the, the load. Okay. Now, we have to find out the value of i. That i value can be calculated. We know that the, the current i is because of the potential difference between E and V divided by synchronous impedance Zs. That is potential between these two points. That is here the potential at this point is E. Potential at this point is V. Then what is the potential difference? That is E minus V divided by Zs that gives the, the current I. Therefore, I am writing here I is equal to E minus V divided by Zs. Therefore, just I am putting it is in its uh, actual magnitude and the phase angle of E, V and Zs that is already listed. That is E can be written as E an angle of delta. V can be substituted as V an angle of 0 degree and Zs is replaced by Zs an angle of 5. Okay. Now, 
I can be calculated just I am splitting this two terms and I am dividing E an angle of delta by Z an angle of phi and V an angle of 0 and Z an angle of phi. The same thing I did here that is E an angle of delta divided Z an angle of phi is E by Z s and if you are phi is bringing to the numerator and it will become D minus delta minus phi. This minus sign as it is it is V by Z s V by Z s here it is 0 minus 5 that is minus 5 ok then if you are taking the real part of this current i it is a the complex form it consists of real and as well as the imaginary part the real part is nothing but our i cos y real part is our cos y or in other words you take the cos function on either side of this then what i am getting is i cos y e by z cos delta minus phi and it is v by z cos an, an angle of minus phi cos minus phi is cos phi only therefore it is minus v by z cos phi that is you are taking the real part of this current or you can apply the function cos phi on both sides then what I am getting is this that is i cos phi e by z is cos delta minus phi v by z cos of minus phi, minus, cos of minus phi is cos phi only therefore I am keeping as it is cos phi. Means what I am getting here is i cos phi, just you have to substitute here in the i cos phi, what I am getting is the power delivery. That is, once again further simplification I am making that is e by z is cos delta minus phi I am keeping as it is. We know that from the, the impedance triangle of the, the alternator cos phi is r by z cos phi is r by z in this case it is r a by z s just i am substituting value of cos phi is r a by z so that what i am getting is v r a divided by z s whole square because here z s and v by r by z that z z into z square into v into r in the numerator then if you are substituting value of the i cos phi in this particular equation then why what we are getting here is p is equal to ev by z s cos delta minus phi minus v square by r divided by z s square this is the the power angle equation of the the non salient pole type of uh, alternator then we know that in general we have got armature resistance is very very small as compared to its reactors that can be neglected means the second term is become zero then zs is become excess the phi is become the 90 because the resistance is zero therefore phi is become 90 that is a delta minus 90 is sine delta what i am getting here therefore if you are putting x is equal to sorry r is equal to zero so that second term will become zero phi is become 90 cos minus of 90 minus delta is sin delta therefore I am replacing sin delta here that is what I am getting is Ev by Zs sin delta what I am getting then this is called as the power angle equation of a the uh, non salient pole type of alternator or a cylindrical rotor type of machine then if you are drawing the equivalent uh, the power angle equation this is a power angle equation just I want to draw from this power angle equation I want to draw the power angle characteristics power angle characteristics the power angle characteristics is nothing but it is a graph between the power delivered it is a power delivered it is a curve which is showing for the synchronous generator is a graphical representation of electrical power output with respect to the, the power angle that is you are drawing the, the curve between the delta and p then the resulting curve is called as the power angle curve then we have got an equation for power angle equation that is ev by z s cos delta minus phi v square by r a divided z s square bats then if we know that in the case of uh, cylindrical rotor r a is very very small as compared to x s I am putting the value of R is equal to 0, second term will 0, then phi is becomes 90, it is, if you are taking 90 minus delta, cos 90 minus delta is sin delta, therefore what I am getting is here sin delta. 
Then if you are drawing the graph for this particular equation, I am drawing x axis as a delta and on y axis I will take the, the power that is active power p. Then we know that the equation which is governing the, the relation between p and delta is e b by x s into sin delta. It is a sine function with a maximum value of e b by x s. Therefore, basically it is the sine function. Therefore, the nature of the curve is it is a sine graph what I am getting here. Then we know that when this power delivered is maximum, the power delivered is maximum when sine delta is equal to 1. When sine delta is equal to 1, when the delta is equal to 90 degree. That is, when delta is equal to 90, the power which is delivered by the alternator is maximum. That is represented as P max. That is represented as the P max is the, the maximum power which can be delivered by the alternator. That is, the value of the P max is Ev by Xs. That is, it is represented as P max Ev by Xs. So many bats. This is the maximum power delivered by the alternator. If we are increasing the angle delta beyond 90 degree, the machine loses its synchronization. So that you have to operate your the alternator such that the delta should not exceed more than the 90 degree. Okay, this is a power angle equation of the cylindrical generator. Okay, in the next session we will derive the, the power angle equation for the serial pole type of alternator.